This is Arts in Depth on WSKG. I'm Bill Snyder. The Little well Delaware Youth Ensemble is welcoming the Jason Anik Trio in a concert on Sunday, March 3rd at 3 p.m. in the Anderson Theater on the Hartwick College campus. And uh, from the Little Delaware Youth Ensemble, we have the conductor, Uli Spett. What's on the program? Hello. So we have um, a concert by the Jason Anik Trio, which is a group comprised of Jason Anik, who plays violin, uh, fiddle style violin, and uh, Max O'Rourke on guitar and uh, Greg Lohman on the bass. They play a mix of jazz. Uh, they're rooted in bluegrass and, and folk music, uh, but uh, their music spans multiple genres. And uh, they're playing a one hour concert on Sunday, March 3rd at 3 o'clock at Hartwick College's Anderson Theater in Oneonta. This concert is free and open to the public. And then in addition, there's a workshop. Yes, we will also hold a workshop uh, following uh, on Monday, March 4th. Uh, there is once again a free uh, open concert uh, geared towards school children on uh, Monday the 4th at 10 a.m. It goes until 11.15 a.m., one hour, 15 minute concert. Um, some schools are busing in. This will be at the Foothills Center, um, different location from Sunday. Uh, so the Monday uh, concert is of on uh, uh, is at the Foothill Center in Oneonta, and uh, it will be followed by a public jam session. Anybody of any age who plays an instrument is allowed to come in, and we will uh, jam with the Jason Anik Trio, which the jam session starts right at 12 noon and goes for an hour and 15 minutes. I know that there are a number of really well-known violinists who also play bluegrass uh what what could a what can a classical classically trained violinist learn from playing uh other genres i think uh other genres we we understand different styles we understand um how improvisation is really the origin of composition and it gives us a much uh different angle at understanding the classical music that we're already playing and um and uh, also different techniques. Uh, the idea of making up music on the spot um, requires you to have your technique ready on the spot and and to put things that you've been practicing uh, into uh, into flow, into motion um, at your fingertips. It's, it's very helpful. Uh, not to forget, of course, uh, is that improvisation has always been a big part of classical music going back to the Baroque days and, and earlier. Uh, Bach was a great improviser. Mozart was a great improviser. And uh, just understanding uh, some of the cadences that soloists play, they sometimes improvise on stage. And uh, learning techniques um, through, uh, through today's improvisers, I think, is, is super valuable. Once again, the Little Delaware Youth Ensemble is welcoming the Jason Anik Trio on Sunday, March 3rd at 3 p.m. in the Anderson Center on the Hartwick College campus, followed the next day by a workshop in the Foothills Performing Arts Center. We hope you like this YouTube video and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to the WSKG YouTube channel and you'll be notified when there's a new interview coming up. Once again, my guest has been music director Uli Speth. If you'd like more information, you can go online to ldye.org. Uli, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.